Now, there's a storyline with this, though. Well, can, yeah, I was going to ask you. Is Corey the Quintana there's is here? the super heavyweight champion. Corey Quintana is Gerald Wicks' teammate. El Shaddai and Corey Quintana wrestled in the past together. Okay. And there's some unfinished business there. El Shaddai wants Corey Quintana. But El Shaddai needs to get out of novice rules to qualify for a super heavy belt. So the way to the championship right now is through Corey Quintana's teammate, Gerald Wicks. So if he can get through Gerald Wicks, we have a hell of a fight. Well, now we know why there's a little extra juice for this one. And you felt that like it was real. Like th there, there can be some intimidation tactics at weigh-ins, but did you feel real? But when something you stick real and your palpable? two middle fingers into your opponent's face like that, yeah, that's just a sign of just right. disrespect. Yep, I agree. You know, with that. so even if it's part of the shtick, I mean, he's he's making a statement. And if I remember correctly, when we were here a couple of months ago, we we did have Al Shaddai on that card. He definitely made a statement that night after his victory. I'm gonna have taken over the division. Like he had a very impactful uh, post-fight interview. So he's been ready for this. You know, and he's a very very stocky, husky, well-built, strong guy. When I saw him at Wayans, I was going to guess about 280, 285. Yeah. El Shaddai was 301 pounds. Now, Jared Wicks in here in the blue corner, he's 360 pounds. He is a That's a whole shitload of man in that giant. cage. So right now for me, you know, it's, it's going to be Ken, Ger Ken Gerald weather the, the storm of the hands of El Shaddai in the first round. I... We remember El Shaddai being very methodical, right? Very precise. I'm trying to remember back was, to his last fight. He was fight. vicious with his hands. Vicious. Throwing with bad intentions. So if you are, if you're Jarrell Wicks, you just need to weather, you just need to weather the storm, and this weather will come down the to storm conditioning, and obviously. Weather the storm and utilize your jiu-jitsu. These are some big boys. You know, I mean, El Shaddai has the great wrestling background, as we talked about. He wrestled super heavyweight champion Corey Quintana in the past. Uh, you know, and really his his sights are on Quintana. That's what he wants. So I wouldn't doubt that if he beats Gerald right now, he calls Quintana out. There's something uh, <laughs> there's something compelling about El Shaddai Van Hosen. I, I mean, he's got a lot of followers on social media. He puts himself out there. He's interesting. Yeah, he's a character. He and that's sure why, is. You know, it might he's be a part of his stick. You don't know. Well, I mean, listen. If you've got an interesting character and an interesting shtick, and you're and you're putting your opponent to sleep, then you're a star. And really, ultimately, his goal is going to be heavyweight, because there is no super heavyweights in the pros these days. So really, if you want to fight pro, heavyweight it is. I'm We're going to bring it up to Mike Falvo. I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, the upcoming contest on the card for Cage Wars 54 is in our super. Heavyweight division, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in last night at 360 pounds. Representing Team Jukau out of Scotia, Gerald Wicks. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in yesterday at 301 pounds. Representing Lion's Den Martial Arts out of East Greenbush, New York. The Big Pisser, El Shaddai Van Housing. I, I can't lie, El Shaddai. Now, Man I, in I charge of the action when this door closes, El Mr. Van Laszlo feels Houve. like the kind of guy people might pay to watch see. I agree, and, and it's not often that Gerald Wicks has has an opponent who has at least as many fans in the crowd. This is this is going to be exciting. Don't blink, right? This no, could be. No, this, do not. Do okay. not look away. This is not going to the decision. This will not go three rounds. I feel like there's. A, is there a little extra instruction? Do you think this has to do maybe with a little bit of the bad blood that yes. yesterday? Okay. One hundred percent. Our producers are even going. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. These two gentlemen do not like each other. Oh yeah. Oh, this is fun, man. You know what? You can see almost El Shaddai is almost like getting into being the villain, and some guys really love yeah. that role. I think. I, and I, I could, and I don't know this, but I think this is more or less. Listen, after, when this fight is over, that's it. Like you go back to your corners, and that's the end of it. Like, none of this extracurricular no, shit. No, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> El Shaddai seems like that guy. No, 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 but I think that that's what the instruction oh, yeah, was. Yeah. I think that that was a preemptive strike. I'm agreed. not saying that that's all. Yeah, agreed. And I, I'll tell you, I, I find El Shaddai Van Hosen very compelling. 
I, uh, now, if I'm Jarrett Wicks, I'm not going to let him walk me down like that because he's too heavy hands to walk back into the cage and be cornered in the cage and be punched. But the size difference, so this is where you're right, you need to have a different weight class because the, the speed is just, I mean, you're talking about carrying an extra 50 pounds. But, but Van Hosen doing a nice job teeping to the leg. I've not what, seen that yet. What do you Switching think? Switching his stances, throwing those low kicks. I mean, this young man has, has a good skill set. What's the weight difference here, would you say? Uh, could you ask him? It's, it's 60 pounds. Okay. Is it 301 for 360. It looks like it's 100. Well, because again, El Shaddai doesn't look like he's 300 oh. pounds. These, this boy's got heavy hands. Look at this. Wow. Yep. Wow, that was powerful. It definitely backed El Shaddai up. And Gerald Wicks is feeling the heavy hands of El Shaddai right now. You know, Wicks is... Got to be careful throwing those kicks, though, because he will follow in with a punch. You know, and again, if I'm if I'm Jarrell's corner, I'm saying get off the cage. Who? who you're talking about Wicks will follow? No, El Shaddai will. Okay. If I'm Gerald's corner, oh, I'm saying hurt get him, off the cage. That hurt him. That's it. It's over. That's the end of that. He hit him with one shot, and Wicks was, he said no more. Wow. You see him calling out Corey Quintana already. Uh, it he, just re he just pointed through the cage at Quintana and called him in. Yeah. I mean, it didn't look like the heaviest of shots. I'm telling you right now, this young man is yep. put together so well. He is kinetically linking his muscles to the point where he is just delivering the force and the physics to his opponent. He does it. He he's emotionless. He it, it, it looks easy to him. I'm. This is this this will be good to watch this replay because it was the one shot and that was it. Here but it comes. It, you know, Bang. Oh. You know, and really, I think it was a, an accumulation of those it, shots. It hasn't happened yet. You'll no, know but, when it happens. But I'm saying, like, it accumulates. Yeah. Here we go. He's going to look for that left hand. And again, doing a nice job with those teeps. You know, I don't think Gerald expected that. He's tired. He's tired. He's breathing heavy. It's a left boom. Oh, and he left says, nope, hand. I'm done. Look at He does. He almost puts yeah. it up like. Whoa. That's enough for me. Wow. This young man has heavy hands. He is going to be a problem for anybody. Wow. Well, let's take it up. We're going to bring it up to Mike Falvo for the final announcement. And now let's give a round of applause for these two great fighters in our super heavyweight division, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Referee Laszlo Juve is called a stop to the fight at 1 minute 14 seconds into round number one. For your winner, by way of TKO, El Shaddai Van Hosen. Yeah, he's going to be fighting for a title. Yeah, he's, he's going to be a problem for anybody that deals with him.